I'd like to share my experience fixing an SWP2 Jacuzzi Perfecta dual flush toilet. This was a little frustrating to figure out at first, so I thought I would share. This is the uh, fill mechanism, the fill valve. This is what I originally thought was the problem. It was going out of the corner, and uh, I would hear it running just a little from the other room, and it would only happen every once in a while. Uh, but that went on for, for months, and I tried fixing this. I actually replaced the fill valve. It did nothing. The problem was actually with the flush valve. This is a large cylinder that goes all the way down and goes into the bowl, and I'll show you exactly what the problem was. So, on the outside of the tank here, we can see that I have the parts that I replaced. This is the fill valve that I did not need to replace, most likely, um, that sits back there. And this is the flush valve mechanism that I did need to replace. Uh, the actual mechanism here is probably fine. Uh, by the way, this is that little ring that sometimes won't seat uh, perfectly. I have another video showing how, uh, if you ever have to adjust it, it ends up being this cable that's the problem and you just kind of adjust this around. Anyway, the uh, problem that was causing the hissing is actually this black ring here. This black ring seals the inside of the tank down into the bowl. So the, the bad design issue that uh, Jacuzzi has with this is if the person who installed this uh, installed it back just a little bit, like toward the wall, um, it will uh, hit this black ring against some embossed lettering on the bottom that says Jacuzzi Company or something like that, uh, literally on the ceramics. So that is preventing this black ring from sealing correctly to the, uh, the bottom of your tank, causing a little hiss. Your solution is to get a new black ring, because this one's deformed now, and then when you install it, make sure you're moving it forward away from the wall, like toward the front of the, the, the bowl, uh, and then putting it down. And since I have done that on this uh, toilet, it has had no leaks. Uh, unfortunately, that involves removing the entire tank. Uh, the tank is a bit of an operation to take out because you have to or turn off the water, remove the water line from the tank uh, after taking all the water out, sponging it all out. And then uh, you have to uh, take the two bolts that hold it on out, remembering all of your uh, correct placements and uh, you know which orientation everything is. And then on the bottom of it, you have this right here. This was actually the hardest thing to get out. I ended up using my uh, <laughs> Craftsman oil filter wrench to, to get around it. This thing is on there pretty hard, so as long as you can get it started, you're uh, you're in good shape. This is this has a, a rubber ring around it, and that's actually what is um, connected. This is what actually touches the bowl part. So that's the only hard part to get out. And then this whole mechanism slides up and out. You put the new one in. Make sure you're sliding it, of course, forward to avoid the embossed part. And you're in good shape to uh, reinstall. So that's how you get rid of the hissing. It's a little bit of a pain. You're going to need to get this part from Jacuzzi. Um, at very least, you'll need to get the rubber ring. I don't know if they sell it separately. I was sent the entire unit as part of a replacement. Uh, they did a pretty good job replacing everything under warranty. They just sent me the new parts. Um, we have four of these toilets, and they have given me uh, plenty of <laughs> parts for the things already. So uh, they're a good company to work with like that. Uh, and that's uh, how you fix a hissing uh, Jacuzzi SWP2 uh, dual flush toilet.